Hello, everybody. If you could go ahead and hop back over to your state's table, we are going to get started with the preparing for a successful meeting session here in just one second. Awesome. So firstly, thank you guys all for being here. Um, we know that it takes a lot of time and planning uh, to get to DC and you guys are from all over the country. So we appreciate you making this a priority and we are thrilled to have you here. Um, I am going to touch on uh, all the details you need to know for your Hill meetings tomorrow. Um, if you have not already received uh, an email from Advocacy Associates, please hunt me down after this. Um, everyone should have received their email from Advocacy Associates on Thursday the 23rd. Um, that email will have a link that leads to your meeting schedule. This is where you will be able to view all of the meetings that you are assigned to. You will be able to view who is in your meetings and you will have their email addresses. Um, if there is a meeting on your schedule that doesn't work with uh, your personal schedule anymore and you're not able to attend, uh, please let me know so we can remove that from your schedule and tell the office to expect uh, less people. Um, also, if you haven't already, go ahead and download the Advocacy Associates app. It's called Advocacy Day. Um, you will be able to view your meeting schedule on there. The app will also send you updates if uh, your meeting times change, which is possible. So keep an eye on your schedule. Continue to go back and check that out. Um, Advocacy Associates is going to be joining us uh, from 2 until the end of the day today to answer any questions that you may have about your meeting schedule. So if the app isn't working for you or you're having difficulties with that, we will have their tech team here to help you out and answer any questions. Um, and they'll also be able to help you out with um, changing your uh, meetings if needed. So some meeting tips. Um, I really wanna uh, make sure to point out that every meeting is important. Um, we will have some meetings with 20 advocates. We'll have some meetings with two advocates. Um, it doesn't matter how many people are in the meeting. The meeting is so important. Um, going to the Hill and your red scarves that you all have in your bag, um, you're really gonna make a splash tomorrow. So it does not matter how big your meeting is or if you're meeting with a staffer instead of a member, your meeting's gonna be amazing. Meetings are scheduled for anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes, and the length of each meeting is going to be on the Advocacy Associates app, so if you have questions about that, you can view that on your schedule. Um, I know you're all amazing, so this goes without saying, but um, please be respectful and kind tomorrow as you're going to your meetings. Um, kindness really goes a long way with these staffers. They have meetings all day long. Um, so a kind, friendly face always uh, stands out. So be sure to be kind. Um, say thank you for any past action that your members take in, um, whether that be introducing legislation, co-sponsoring legislation, or being a member of the caucus. Um, most importantly, do please do not miss a scheduled meeting unless there is an emergency, of course, then we understand. Um, but if you're not gonna be able to attend a meeting, definitely reach out and let us know beforehand if you're able. If you happen to be running late for one of your meetings, please contact Advocacy Associates. You can either do this through the app, you can email them. Um, we just ask that you do not reach out to the member's office directly to reschedule your meeting um, because the meeting for the rest of the advocates may be canceled or rescheduled as a result. Um, again, please be sure to check the app for any updates to your schedule, um, both this afternoon and in the morning. Uh, meeting times can change up until the day of. So be sure to check that out uh, for any last second changes. Um, as far as the structure of your meetings go, um, the size of your meetings will just depend on the size of your state, um, the size of your district, how many people are here from your district. Um, 
but typically house meetings are going to be smaller um, with anywhere between two to five advocates and the Senate meetings are going to be much larger because everyone from your state will be participating in those. Um, we did assign team coordinators to meetings with five or more advocates. Um, if you have a team coordinator, they are likely at your table with you unless you're in a huge state and your tables are all split up. Um, your team coordinator will be helping you here in just a few minutes when you guys all have time to meet and plan and strategize. They will help you see that process through. Um, if you are in a small meeting, so this is anywhere between one to four people, um, each person will be able to speak for at least two minutes each. I know that doesn't sound like a lot of time, um, but that gives you plenty of time. I'm going to get into that in the next slide. Um, if you are in a large meeting with five or more people, like I said, a team coordinator will help you guys strategize and plan out um, an agenda for your meetings. Um, they are gonna do this by figuring out who would like to tell their story, who would like to make an ask. Um, and I'll just note here that, you know, if you're not comfortable sharing your story yet, and if you're not comfortable making an ask yet, that is completely okay. Um, just being there and introducing yourself and supporting your fellow advocates is so important. So even if you don't feel like sharing yet, that is totally okay. So what is your Hill meeting gonna look like? Um, like I said, in a few minutes, uh, you'll have a chance to meet with your groups. Um, so please keep in mind that everybody should have a chance to introduce themselves in the meetings. Um, this includes your name, your rare disease, and where you're from. So for example, I'm gonna be popping into some of the North Carolina meetings tomorrow because that is where I'm from, if you could not tell with the accent. <laughs> so I will be popping into North Carolina meetings tomorrow. And so if I were to introduce myself, uh, I would just say, my name's Caitlin. You know, you would share your disease and share your town you're from. So keep it simple, short. Everybody should have a chance to do this. Um, then from there, at least two to three people will be able to share their story. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, when I say share your story, that is okay. Uh, we are going to have a session here in just a little bit um, on how to prepare your ask and your story. So definitely come to that session if, uh, if you have any questions about that. And then three to four people will be able to make a legislative ask. Um, especially in the larger meetings, we ask that each person um, only has one ask. If you're in a smaller meeting, of course, fill your time. Um, but in a larger meeting, we want to be respectful of everyone there, make sure that everyone has a chance to speak. Um, if there is not enough time for you to tell your story and you really want to do so, I encourage you to follow up with the person that you're meeting with, the staffer or the member. Um, their email will be on your meeting schedule. So you can copy it from there and send them an email. Um, this is also a great chance to thank them for meeting with you, um, provide an ask, whatever you would like to do. So the goal in these meetings is to share your story and have your member of Congress take action. Um, in order to do this, we encourage you to stay on message. Um, you can really guide the conversation by introducing, your introducing yourself, sharing your story, um, but we ask that you stay on topic. Of course, we have the suggested asks that we've been talking about today, uh, but if you don't feel personally connected to any of the asks that we are talking about, you're more than welcome to do your own ask on whatever piece of legislation or action you are personally connected to. Um, but we ask that it's related to rare disease. So we wanna be sure we're staying on message. Um, be clear, make sure that your request is clearly articulated. Um, be specific, so if uh, the benefit ask, act is going to be your ask, uh, make sure you say the bill number. You don't have to say the whole long bill name, you can say benefit act and they'll know what you mean. Uh, so don't feel like you have to go home and memorize that, you do not. Um, and then they will also have all the one pagers that we have prepared for you. Um, but of course, feel free to take some extras with you today and hand those out as you go as well. 
Um, again, these are our suggested legislative ask. Um, but as I said, if you are not personally connected to any of these and there's another ask that you are passionate about, that can be your ask. Um, we ask if you do make an ask that isn't one of the four listed here, um, that you do create a one pager on your ask. Um, if you need more information or help on how to create a one pager, we have a tip sheet on our website that can walk you through how to do that. Um, and if you can't find it on the website, you can email me and I will happily share the link with you. Um, again, the one pagers are on the table right outside the door if you haven't had a chance to grab those. Um, we have English and Spanish versions. If you know your member, um, speak Spanish, grab a Spanish one pager and take it to them. Um, again, please have one person from each meeting peek, pick up the needed uh, one pagers to share during your meetings. Um, each team only needs one of each of the one pagers per meeting, so your whole group doesn't have to grab one. Just one person from the group can grab them and bring them tomorrow. Um, and if you lose your one pager, can't track it down, the links are on the Rare Disease Week website and on the Advocacy Associates platform. So now is the time for you guys to get together and plan what tomorrow is going to look like for your group. Um, large groups, like I said, with five or more attendees, you will have a team coordinator that is going to help you out. Um, we ask that you use this time to discuss strategy for your Hill meetings. Um, decide which, which legislative ask your group would like to make. Um, each person should make one ask. If you are not comfortable with that, you don't want to make an ask, that is okay. Um, we ask that you use this time to decide the order that everyone is going to speak in. Uh, so that way when you get there tomorrow, you know, you're not sitting around and eyeballing the person next to you. Like, is it your turn? Is it my turn? You'll know what order to go in. It'll be smooth. Um, and then again, the practice your pitch session at 3.50 today. Um, if this is your first time participating in Rare Disease Week or any kind of Hill meetings, we highly encourage you to come to the practice your pitch session. Um, it is gonna be led by Stephanie Reardon. If you have not met her, she is phenomenal and she is gonna teach you guys everything that you need to know. Uh, so definitely, yes, claps for Stephanie. <laughs> So definitely come hang out with us at uh, 3.50 for that. Um, there is also extra room for everyone to spread out if you guys don't have enough space where you're at, ballroom A is open. Um, I am going to just go through a few more slides and then the rest of the time is yours. So tomorrow um, we will have the caucus briefing in the morning from nine to 10. And then we will have hill meetings all day long um, at 4.30 p.m., we ask you to join us on the Capitol stairs for a group photo. Um, it's going to be the side of the Capitol that faces the Supreme Court building, not the side that faces the National Mall. Um, wear your red sweater, come join us, get in the group photo. Um, and then the Rare Artist Reception will take place uh, from 5 to 7 tomorrow afternoon, and that is going to be a great time. So you're definitely going to want to join us for that. A few logistics for the Hill meeting. Um, if you are planning to Metro, uh, you'll see here on the screen that the closest Metro stop to the Senate side is gonna be Union Station. This is on the Red Line Metro. And then the closest Metro stop to the House side is gonna be the Capitol South Metro. Um, grab a photo of this if you like. I'm gonna leave it up for a second. I know the Metro can be complicated. Um, so we want to make sure that you guys are comfortable with getting there tomorrow. Um, highly recommend using the, uh, well, I just went, just lost it, the Maps app on your phone uh, to map your plan out for getting there tomorrow. If you do plan to take the Metro, it will give you all of the arrival times that you need. Um, do plan to get to your first meeting a bit early. You're gonna to have to go through security. There will likely be a line because there's a lot of us here, which is amazing. Um, so plan to get there early. And I'm gonna go back just one more. I have a few more little points for you here. Um, 
Every Life staff will be joining some meetings tomorrow. Um, I don't want you to be alarmed if you see us in your meetings. Um, you're not in trouble. We're not there to take up your time. We are simply there as support to be there for you should you need us. Um, we'll be taking notes on what the staffers say. Um, so just wanted to give you a heads up. Uh, don't be shocked if you see us in your meetings tomorrow. Um, also wanted to give you guys a heads up that some meetings have been moved to virtual meetings. Um, we requested that all meetings be in person, but some members are still not taking in-person meetings um, for uh, whatever reason that may be. So some of the meetings will be virtual. And I know we haven't talked a lot about protocol for virtual meetings, so I just wanted to give you some quick tips. If your meeting is virtual, um, please bring a laptop or your smartphone to the Hill with you um, so that you can use it to take your meeting. Um, bring headphones uh, so that you can hear and they can hear you. Um, and find a quiet area to take your meeting. So um, there are some common areas around the hill that you can pop into and take a meeting. Um, there are some quiet hallways that you may be able to sit in. Um, but we do ask that you all join these meetings individually instead of trying to gather around one device um, just so they can all see you and you can see them and everybody can be heard. Um, and one last reminder, if you are expecting a travel reimbursement check and you have not picked it up yet, um, you can pick it up today in the atrium, uh, right outside and to your right, we're set up there at a table. So if you have not picked up your travel reimbursement check yet, um, be sure to do that before you leave today. So I am gonna go back so you guys can have this slide here to look at as you meet with each other, but please use the rest of this session to plan out what tomorrow is gonna look like for your group. Um, our staff is going to be walking around, um, offering help, answering questions, so if you need us, raise your hand, and we will come over to you guys.